64 Red Ranger Broilers. Start of week 10. They're getting quite massive. I am definitely going to have to make them a tractor here pretty soon. They're doing really well. They're eating just about eight trays of food a day, probably right at eight trays of food a day. And now should be the time that I give you a warning that if you think that you're going to be raising chickens on your farm and it's going to be, oh, it's going to be cheaper. No, no, it's not. The reason that it's cheap is because it's grown in a factory and they don't have access to sunlight, let alone Mother Earth. If you're going to do this, it has to be because you want to do this. It has to be a passion. It, it, it can't be just, uh, oh, whatever. These are living beings that need to be taken care of. I'm not going to discourage you from getting chickens, but it's definitely not cheaper. I mean, so far, right now, they're eating a little over 100 pounds of food a week. So definitely not cheaper. But so far, it's a beautiful start to week 10. Day 65, Red Ranger Broilers. They're doing really well. I'm moving them every morning. They're eating a little over eight trays of food a day. Loving life. Getting real big. Getting mad at me because I haven't fed them their breakfast yet this morning. I'll go ahead and give them their food and... Let them be happy. Day 66, Red Ranger Broilers. They're eating well over eight trays of food a day. They enjoy their fresh moves. As you can see, all of the tall weeds are just sticks now. They've already eaten every leaf off of them. <laughs> day 67, Red Ranger Broilers. They're doing real, real well. They're eating well more than eight trays of food a day. I'm giving them an extra scoop in the evening. Still have to pour out a little bit in the morning, but I know that they're eating enough. Eating plenty of food, drinking plenty of water, getting real big. Some areas of my land has more vegetation than others. It's a work in progress, but they're doing awesome. I haven't put down a stitch of wood chips all week. I've been moving them every morning, making sure that they get their food and their water, but I have been slacking on the wood chip department. <laughs> already started a little bit, just kind of filling in spots where the chickens messed it up this morning. But I'm slacking and need to get my rear and gear and get some farm chores done. Just kind of putting it down about an inch thick. Just to give the ground some cover, give it some relief. chips to even it all now. Thank you. 
68. They're doing real, real good. Loving life. Mamba. They have 68. Red Ranger broilers. They're doing real, real well. Eating plenty of food, drinking plenty of water, loving life, doing what chickens do. I continue to move them every morning. That way they have fresh stuff to munch on and cruising right along, loving life, doing their chicken thing. Day 69, Red Ranger broilers. As you can see, they're doing awesome, loving life, moving them every morning. They're eating about nine trays of food a day between them. Drinking plenty of water, eating all the vegetation in this little 4x4 four four square. But they're doing really, really well. They're about as big as my adult egg layers are at this point. Day 70, Red Ranger Broilers. End of week 10. They're doing real good. They finished this line up. And they're starting to move over to work the next line. Here's the 14 smaller ones. Still have over half the tractor in the room. Doing real good, moving right along. Here's the 13 bigger ones. They still got a bunch of room too. So far they're loving life and it's a Beautiful end to week 10. Stay tuned to week 11, or if this is your first time here, go back and check out some of my earlier weeks. I want to thank you for watching. Ask that you subscribe. Leave a comment. Leave a thumbs up. Hit that bell. That way you'll be notified when I put out new videos.